Morning Coffee YouTube, how you doing? How you feeling this glorious Saturday morning? I'm doing pretty good. A bit tough. Blue note's still there, Pat. Catfish, it's still right there. I ain't gonna tell you why I ain't. I, they know what's on that note, but I'm not gonna let you know what's on that note. If you wanna know what's on that note, you send me a little email. A little teaser up there, a little special blue note. I might start moving it around a little bit. Mess with people. Anyways, uh, I was sitting here talking with Birdie last night. And she, um, you, know, you, know, you know how you get in conversations with your wives. And um, the topic of conversation this morning is going to be, who do you, you, conversate with? Okay? Conversate. Is it a real word? I don't know. I don't care. I'm at the age of my life where I can make words up and if they sound good, I'll continue to use them. But conversate to me is, who do you, who do I talk with? Now notice I said talk. I picked up a phone like a receiver and I put it to my ear. I did not sit here and act like I was texting. I didn't sit here and act like I was video chatting. But who do you conversate with? Who do you talk to? Who do I talk to? Well, believe it or not, I actually talk to uh, quite a few people. Um, and that's um, kind of odd for me. Give me a second. I need a little bit here. Got a cold or something sneaking in on me um, once upon a while ago I was in a, uh, in a job where I was in, in charge of a lot of people and uh, it was a good job I enjoyed it it was challenging uh, we had a lot of fun um, but it was very challenging on a personal level um, because it seemed like every time me and Bertie or me and the kids got involved in something, the phone would ring and those plans just went uh, boom, boom. And um, it's one of the reasons I got away from it. But because of that and because of my con uh, me constantly being on the phone, I got to the point where I just did not care to be on the phone. I really did not. I just did not. I, I didn't want to look at a phone. I didn't want to pick up a phone. I didn't want to have to dial a phone. And um, because of that, I guess friendships suffered because a lot of people from my generation still cling to the old notion that you need to pick up a phone and, and call somebody. Um, some of my generation are cool with texting and, and chatting and video chatting and what have you. But then again, you have those people nowadays that would prefer to video chat than text, would prefer to text than phone call, would prefer to phone call than text or chat. So my question to you is, who do you talk to? Who do I talk to again? I talk to Mikey. Hey, Mikey, I know you're watching this video, my buddy Mikey. Uh, I talk to a buddy named Wade. Um, um, I talk with uh, a buddy named Catfish, and I talk with a buddy named Larry. And uh, I talk with a buddy named Pat, and uh, I talk with my kids, um, and I talk. I don't really talk to Bertie that much over the phone because we're always usually here together, or we're at work and we email. But you know, it's just an easy way to get a conversation done without spending a lot of time and and doing what you're supposed to do at work. So my question is uh, for some of you guys out there that are um, in an earlier uh, generation. Or younger generation than mine. Who? When? When was the last time you called your parents? When was the last time you called your brother? When was the last time you called your sister? When was the last time you picked up the phone and called a, a grandmother or a grandfather? You know, you got to think about this because you know uh, things are things are changing now. We're we're going downhill real quick. Uh, uh, the the kids that will be forty years old in twenty years. Um, I can't imagine what their life's going to be like. I, I'm not. I can't imagine what kind of technology they're going to have at their disposal. Uh, hell, it might be Star Trek stuff out there. They might be able to and and just be able to transport through time and be able to visit with somebody. But the question is, is will they? Will you? <clears throat> will you? Will you go through time and visit with your parents? Will you go through time and visit with your grandmother, or will you just forget about them? I mean, you know. Who do you conversate with? Who do you physically pick up the phone call and talk to? Because, you know, I think that's a part of our, our communication that's um, that's lacking. Uh, I think that it's a part that's disappearing fast. So, I'm going to leave you with this challenge. 
I'm challenging y'all. Ain't nobody picked me up on it yet. I probably have some kind of super secret uh, prize pack hit around the house here to give to the, the first person who video responds to one of my videos. I don't know. I don't know. It could be a, a remote control for a TV you don't own, or it could be um, it could be the plastic cover to um, a whiteout pen. But I get the whiteout pen, but you get the the plastic cover. You might be getting a two-piece <laughs> whiteout cover. <laughs> or it could be what's on the blue note. Or it could be the blue note itself. Okay, that's my challenge. Who do you conversate with? Put down the phone and quit texting. Uh, put down the... Uh, oh, that's it. That's what I wanted to tell you. It was a situation I forgot real quick. I forgot real quick. Okay, perfect example. Uh, two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago now, Birdie and I was over at a bar, and we was watching the, um, uh, Birdie, what was that first game we went over to Hawthorns and, uh, watched, or uh, Hickory Tavern and watched the game at? Who was playing? Who? It was the Green Bay. Yeah, it was the Green Bay game. It was the Green Bay game, the game, uh, Green Bay won that one, but they got kicked out the next weekend. Anyway, so I'm sitting there, and I'm sitting back, and I'm, I'm you know, I'm watching the TV, the big screen TV's up here on the wall. I got Birdie over here with a little round table, and there's a, there's a gentleman sitting beside me, a young black man over here. And he's sitting there watching the game. I mean, you know, our elbows are bumping, and we're talking about the game, and, you know, we're, we're just having, I ain't never seen this guy before in my life. Well, about halfway through, uh, about about the end of the first quarter, a, a young black lady comes and has a seat with him, and I I can tell. I mean, he he straightened up. He he was sitting there. He was doing his thing. So I just kept watching. And and the funny thing was is that she would sit over there and she would tap and lay her phone down and look at him. And he would pick up the phone and he would tap and he would look at her, or he would tap and look at her, and he'd shake his head. And then she would tap and look at her and shake his head. And like now I knew damn well they wasn't texting each other, but it, it, it just I was just I was like wow, doggone it. You know what? I'm going to say something back. We got done, and I, I stood up the table, and I was like, hey, man, enjoyed watching the game with you and, and what have you. And, you know, he smiled, and I stuck my hand out to show him the appreciation of enjoying a little camaraderie there in the bar about, about watching the game. And um, I said, I want you to do me a favor. And, you know, he's kind of like, okay. You know? <laughs> and I can see the young lady, she's paying attention, too. I said, I want you to take her phone and put it in your back pocket. And I said, young lady, I want you to take his phone and put it in your back pocket. And she starts to grin a little bit. And I said, I want you to sit there and keep that smile, just that smile that you have on. And young man, I want you to sit here and look at it and smile back. I said, do that for me for five minutes and uh, you'll make my day. So they both kind of smiled and I turned and walked away. Now, whether or not they did that, <clears throat> I don't know. So I challenge you today, instead of texting your, your parents or your sister or your brother or your aunt or your uncle or your best bud from school or your best girlfriend from school, um, pick up the phone and call them and, and let them hear your voice because uh, there might be something going on in their life that they need to hear that voice. Um, and by hearing that voice, um, they may turn around and tell you something that's going on in their life that you need to know. Not that they, they would have that, but you know might give something, um, might help somebody out and not even know it. Okay, so we went a little long this morning. Man, Birdie's getting up. we got to go do some running around. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, have another cup of coffee? Put it on my tab. See you, YouTube. Bye. <laughs>